Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. We're going to begin by adding the pattern tip you see there, and it's completely optional if you want to add the beads and the rhinestones. Let's get started. The first thing to do is apply a background color. As a background color, I chose a lavender, and the one I'm using is this one by Revlon, and it's called Gumdrop. After that, I'm going to be using my detailing brush to begin creating the patterns you see there. I've started off dipping in my black and I'm going to do a side swipe. I'm going to start in the corner and I'm going to begin to bring it up and it's going to end up at one corner looking like a French manicure and at the other corner it's going to be lower. Now I'm going to be creating one stripe. I'm going to go in again and I'm going to create another stripe. I'm going to space those two stripes and I'm going to begin two more over on this side. So I'm leaving a space in between. There's one and I'm going to create another one over this side. I'm going to do the same thing, space and create two more two more stripes. There's one. We do one more. And that's all we've done so far. Now I'm going to begin going sideways. I'm going to do one stripe two stripe and I'm not going so far that I'm going to touch the two stripes we made. I'm going to skip the two stripes, I'm going to go in between and I'm trying to put them parallel to the ones we made over the first ones. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to skip these two lines we made and I'm going to go one, two and I'm going to do the same thing over. I'm going to skip this side and I'm going to do one and two. I've dipped in my white and I'm going to go in between and I'm going to fill in the stripes we made going up and down. So I'm just filling those in with white. I'm going to move over to the next one over here and I'm going to do the same exact thing. And if it's too light, you might have to allow your first white stripe to dry and then you can go over and do it again. The next thing I'm going to do with the ones we made sideways, I'm also going to fill them in with white. Being careful not to touch the black, but if you do touch the black, all you have to go is um, go over them again if you do accidentally touch some of the black stripes. Now we're going to move over to the side one over here. and to our last one here in the corner. Now I've dipped in my black and very carefully I'm going to do little X's over the top squares and the bottom squares. Now it's time to begin adding some rhinestones and some beads. I'm going to start by adding in this corner here some clear polish and I'm going to dip in my dotting tool to make it sticky. I'm going to pick and place a purple rhinestone. There we have the one rhinestone. I'm going to move over and what we're doing here is the shape of a flower using rhinestones. Next I'm going to be using teardrop shaped rhinestones. I'm going to get my first teardrop shaped rhinestone and these are in also purple and I'm going to place it right there. I'm going to move over to get the next one and I'm forming the, the petal shapes 
of the flower. There's two. I'm going to move over and I'm going to place number three. And the little purple one in the center, that's the center of our flower. And finally, I'm going to place a fourth one coming under there. And there we have a half piece of our flower. Now I'm going to move over and I'm going to be placing a clear rhinestone. So I'm going to move a little up ahead. I'm going to place some clear polish. I'm going to do the same thing. And this time I'm going to be placing a clear rhinestone. And these are the 1mm size rhinestones. This one's not very big. Somewhere over in that area. I'm going to move over, leave some space in between, and I'm going to be placing now a purple rhinestone. And I'm leaving in space in between the, the clear rhinestone and the purple one because I'm going to be adding beads in that area. Okay, so there we have it. Next, I'm going to be adding some silver beads. And that's it for this nail art design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try it out using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.